Liverpool dominated Manchester City and yet again Manchester City is saved by the VAR and of Premier League officiating. Who oh, I, in my opinion, who really wants Arsenal to win this thing, you know. This is the, I don't know, this is the second or third thing. This is the third, this third incident that happened this weekend that shows like VAR dance and care officially, of Premier League officiating is so, you know, fucked up and so bullshit. Uh, first, Arsenal, uh, Kai Havertz should have been sent off, so that me means he wouldn't have scored the goal. So that's the first one. Secondly, if Liverpool goal in the Carabao Cup was overturned because of blocking, uh, why wasn't Man City's goal not overturned? So that's the second thing. Third thing, Jeremy Doku has clearly missed the ball and hit uh, McAllister. It's clearly missed the ball and hit McAllister. But what what are they? What were the VAR answer? It was what is it called uh, reasonable. So okay, it, if it's reasonable, then what? Why are other teams not getting that reasonable thing? You know, VAR and Premier League officiating is just fucked up situation. They don't know how to officiate. Uh, officiate uh, so they should just, you know, even a blind mother can officiate better than what they're doing. Because I don't know, is it favorism? They are they fearing? I don't know, but. I really don't see any good thing or any good decision they're making these days. All the decisions, when they make a good decision, we appreciate. But you cannot appreciate when they're making three massive decisions that can swing the Premier League from one way to the other in two games. Like even two big ones in one game, you know. Where is the consistency? Where is the consistency? You know, if you are given this, then manage with, you know, with the consistency that you have made the rules. There's no way you make mid-season rules, then, but you still don't comply with it. I really don't understand. On the other hand, the game was great. Manchester City really dominated Liverpool on first, in the first half. They were a better team in the first half. Could we have scored in the first half? Yes. Diaz and that one from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Soboslai. Soboslai was not having a good game today. Good game today. All the others were wow, really, really good. Um, Diaz should have scored like at least three goals, but I don't know what was wrong with him today. He missed so many chances. Kelha saved us, you know, from that Foden save, you know, Ortega that uh, Darwin Nunes save, you know. The game was good. Liverpool could have scored more than four goals, you know. If you count how many big chances Liverpool missed, and how many big chances Man City missed? Like Man City, even you cannot remember any big chances they missed other than that Phil Foden, which and that Doku, uh, what's it called Doku hitting the post in the nine minutes of the game. On the other hand, you know, uh, Gagbo should have shot that ball. That's why I I don't know, but Gagbo he needs to be dropped back, you know, to maybe come or you know central midfielder. Maybe he needs to be retrained to another position because he's not good at striking you know uh on the wings also he's not good so i really don't know i Jurgen club should have not taken uh darwin nunes off even if we have Man Man manchester united next week and they can there's a big time for them to rest you know uh on the other positive hand is that McAllister and uh endo have dominated man city you can say whatever you want but they got dominated manchester city used to have the best league you know uh, midfield, but what I saw today was totally different. I saw Liverpool players dominating the game. I saw Liverpool players, you know, fighting for the ball. Uh, they Haaland was out out of the game, you know, by the small Kwanzaa guy. The you know a nineteen year old, twenty year old kid, you know, kept Haaland out of the game. And that's what you want, you know. Whoever you put out there, you want them to perform for the team. You want them to put shift for the team, and that's what we really got from the team today. You know, even we, or everyone say, oh, Liverpool that, Liverpool this. I saw in the, on Twitter that people are comparing this Liverpool to, what's it called, uh, the Leicester City. No, we are better than that Leicester City. We have a stronger score than Leicester City. So no one should disrespect us like that. But the thing is that VAR this season is against Liverpool. I think they want Man City to win or, you know, Arsenal to win. Every favour is going for Arsenal. Starting from when we played them, they got a penalty. 
we should have got a penalty, you know. On the other side, they got a soft red card, you know. For Konate's red card, shouldn't have been a red card, you know. Uh, you know, things that when you look at the th things that go against us, you know, you cannot, you can complain till tomorrow, but on the other side, like, there's nothing that you can do about it. You know, it has been a really, really sad season to see, you know, how VAR is doing to us, and we can talk till tomorrow, but, you know, if there's no action against, you know, taken against these teams or this, you know, there's nothing that will happen, you know. Uh, uh, I really, like, on the other positive side is that this Liverpool team can win the league, you know, no matter what anyone says, what probability says, they dominated the best team in the world, and, you know, Liverpool, uh, Anfield atmosphere, you know, is second to none, you know, it's the best in the world, you know, no one can say, you know, whatever, everyone can say whatever they want, but, you know, it's second to none, so, yeah. What do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy the game? How was the game? You know, I really did. Really, really enjoyed. And, you know, I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, please, if, if you are Liverpool fan and you're watching this video and you have came all this way, please don't forget to subscribe and turn notification to be notified when I see you and when you see me next. So, take care, be smart, and be safe.